U.S. officially announces that diplomats to boycott Beijing Olympics. Here's a summary of the article. The U.S. has announced a diplomatic boycott of the 2022 Winter Olympics in China, a move that has been heavily criticized by Beijing. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki confirmed the boycott on Monday, saying that the administration would not contribute to the fanfare of the Olympics. China's Washington embassy also waded in on the announcement, calling the boycott a grave distortion of the spirit of the Olympic Charter. On Chinese social media platform Weibo, the search topic US diplomatic boycott of Beijing Winter Olympics has been censored as of Tuesday morning. The Olympics are for athletes. What does it have to do with politicians? Even if you boycott, the only people you're hurting are your own countrymen. One such comment read, high-level government representatives, from the U.S. and other countries, are usually present at Olympic Games. Some U.S. politicians said they believed that the diplomatic boycott is not enough, with Senator Tom Cotton calling it a half-measure and argued that the administration should have opted to fully boycott the Games. The Biden administration's diplomatic boycott of the 2022 Winter Olympics falls far short of a previous U.S. boycott in 1980, when it pulled its athletes out of the Moscow Olympics to protest against the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan the previous year. This post received a score of 20,000, with an up-vote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Till diplomats go to Olympics. Well maybe mental gymnastics used to be part of the Games. Very noble of those U.S. diplomats to sacrifice their guaranteed gold medals. That'll show M. Damn right. Those U.S. politicians are the life of the party. Who goes to the Winter Olympics to watch sports? China. Yo guys, those weirdos aren't coming anymore. It's a meaningless gesture because the Olympics is about athletes and the U.S. athletes will be participating. The diplomats, politicians are the ones boycotting but it was only going to be local audience just like the Tokyo Olympics. The media is still going to be hyping up the Olympics regardless and we'll have a dick measuring contest on the medal counts. It's also meaningless because the US politicians and diplomats were never going to be invited anyway. Greater than US politicians and diplomats were never going to be invited anyway but they could buy tickets and attend in private capacity like anyone else. And spend 14 days in quarantine like everyone else? I bet many would pass the offer even if it's paid vacation. Greater than and spend 14 days in quarantine like everyone else? In much of the world politicians, the mega wealthy, and celebrities quietly get alternative quarantine exemptions. Like Nicole Kidman traveling multiple times in and out of lockdown Australia and so many politicians and even heads of state traveling for vacation when their country is on lockdown for everyone else. No one is saying China will waive the rules for some local councilmen. For politically advantageous optics, yes, politicians and celebrities with clout would get special treatment, along with some statement about how the person underwent rigorous testing or precautions if called out for the special treatment. China closed down a city for like five COVID cases, you think they would give exemption for American politicians whom still think COVID is a hoax. Yes, they isolate the area beforehand, so there will be no contact with the locals during the event and afterwards they just lock down the area for another two weeks, and then blame the Americans for any cases that pop up during the lockdown. If TIHS is what's going to happen, I'm gonna come back and find you when it does, you talented foreteller. Beijing again already? Weren't the 2008 Olympics there? Yeah, that'll show him. People here don't understand how important saving face is to China. The U.S. taking any sort of position is pretty significant to the Chinese. Pulling out athletes would only punish the athletes. Moving the games would be great but needs a lot of support and almost redundant. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.